guys, my name is Navid and welcome to my YouTube channel. From today, we are going to start another playlist. We will discuss the Open CV library. What is Open CV? Yes, this is for image processing. Why we use Open CV for image processing? What is Open CV? Let me explain to you. Actually, Open CV you can say the open source computer vision library. So it is most widely used tool for computer vision and image processing tasks. It is used in various applications such as a face detection, video capturing, tracking movement of objects. object disclosure nowadays in covid applications such as a face mask detection social distancing and many more application they will use open cv for image processing therefore we are going to start this playlist so first of all we open this folder in vs code and we have uh, two images navi and open cv okay first of all you need to install open cv for python click on terminal new terminal right pip install open cv dash python it say like we already have installed but for you it will try to install the open cv for you okay next click on this new file and write whatever name that you want to give your file simply i want to say simply basic image processing dot ipy and b Actually, IPYNB is the extension of Jupyter Notebook. Press Enter. Close this. Okay. So first of all, we need to import CV2, Open CV Library, and the way we import is CV2. Import CV2. Shift Enter. Great. It has successfully imported Open CV Library for you. Next task. First, we will read the image. I am just formatting it so I can upload on GitHub. You can download and use it. Read image. Okay. So how we can read image? We have Open CV function CV two dot im read. Actually, uh, CV two dot im read image read. It's used to read the image. Remember one thing. For example. first argument is the path where i want to read the image so make sure image should be present in your working directory if you are just giving the name of your file i mean if you are write cv2 image read and the name is navi.jpg so image should be present in your working directory but if you specify the path okay in this folder there is my image then image should be present there otherwise you will get error from image read function so first argument is the path where you have image and second argument is you want to specify this simply you can say this is the flag how you want open cv read your image either you want to read your image gray scale you want to image as a color or you simply want to read the image unchanged so let's first of all we will read the image cv to i am read inside the data i have image navi jpeg uh i will read this image gray color and unchanged so you can see the difference so zero is for gray scale and we will give the name gray underscore image is equal to this copy this paste paste then we see color image and unchanged image for color we need to specify flag 1 and for unchanged minus 1 shift enter okay now you have successfully read the image so next task how we can display the image let me write display image we have open cv function cv2.im show image show this function used to show the image in a window so window it is automatically fit to the size of image like if my image size is 240 by 240 window is automatically adjust its size according to the image size so it uh, accept two argument first argument should be the name of window like uh, actually this is the name like what the name i want uh, this window of my image and second argument is the image that i want to show so image show first image gray scale okay so 
first i want to show gray image then i want to show color image and then unchange image after that keyboard binding and in the last destroy all windows okay now we have created three window gray image color image and unchanged image and the next line i write the command cv2 dot wait key so what is this so actually you can say it is a keyboard binding function so its argument is time in milliseconds so the function wait for specific time and the next line is cv to destroy all window actually it will simply destroy all the window that we have created simply run this cell shift enter so here you can see this is my gray image this is the color image and this is unchanged image so if you want to close this window simply click on uh, and press any keyboard key so it will close the window okay next thing we have uh, display the image now how we can save the image for example if you uh, write some image processing you uh, convert image into grayscale or whatever image processing then after that if you want to write an image in your hard disk like just to save the image so how we can save the image okay so we have open cv function cv2 dot image write so it, this function used to save the image so first argument is the file name and second argument is the image that we want to save for example i want to save inside data folder here you can see in data folder i have only two in navid and open cv but i want to save this image data and gray, my grayscale image so this is the path where i want to save the image and this the image so simply run this cell open this here you can see it have my save the image so that's it for today if you like my video click on subscribe button hit the bell icon let's meet another video